Morning, everybody. It's DJ Envy, Angela Yee, Charlemagne the God. We are the Breakfast. You getting Club. any work done before your TV show start? The project, uh, what's it called? Property Power Partners. It's not called Power Partners, man. What's, <laughs> what's it called? With, no, why would you call it Power Partners? What is it? What is it? Property Partners? Yes. It's not Power Partners. Nothing power. <laughs> like, what's wrong with you, man? But are you getting any work done before? Any work done like what? I don't know. You get some little cheek filler. You got cheek filler before? I never got no cheek filler, you man. You are a liar. Oh, that type of work. I thought you meant housework. No, I mean like on his body, his face, cosmetic. No. Okay. I'm not. Y'all filming now, right? Why are you all in my business? Because 50 was just up here talking yes. about it, yes, so I'm asking. Are. Yes, yes, we are. All right, okay. Yes, we are. <laughs> all right, well, let's get to the rumors. Let's talk Wendy Williams. I hate you, man. This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. Rumor has it. Rumor, 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 rumor. On the Breakfast Club. So listen up. Nah, 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 see, he's got the BBL, so I was just asking. I can't get no BBL, man. Stop it. See, this is. People go, oh, no, he's he didn't. just doing squats. Oh, okay. All right, now, Wendy Williams' publicist, Sean Zanotti, has said that she is out of rehab. He said she is excited about the road ahead and looking forward to releasing her many projects. And she also said, thank you to my fans for your love, support, and many prayers. I'm back and better than ever. So she was trying to make sure that she took care of herself. She entered a wellness facility for help with some overall health issues, but she was released from that facility yesterday. I pray all that is true. Mm Mm-hmm. All right, now let's talk about Meghan Markle. She was discussing on the Archetype podcast her time when she was on Deal or No Deal on NBC, the game show. What? That she said, yeah, she's a model on Deal or No Deal. Oh, wow. And here's what she had to say about that time. Back in 2006, I had a short stint as a briefcase girl on the U.S. version of the game show. Before the tapings of the show, all the girls, we would line up and there were different stations for having your lashes put on or your extensions put in. We were even given spray tan vouchers each week because there was a very cookie cutter idea of precisely what we should look like. It was solely about beauty. There was a woman who ran the show and she would be there backstage and I can still hear her as she would go, Markel, suck it in. I ended up quitting the show. Like I said, I was thankful for the job, but not for how it made me feel, which was not smart. All right, that's her breaking down the bimbo on her podcast, and Paris Hilton was a guest on that too. Claudia Jordan weighed in on this, because you know she was on Deal or No Deal as a model. And she said, for clarity, yes, getting a modeling gig on a game show isn't necessarily about your intellect, but every show the executive producers pick five models with the most outgoing and fun personalities to place mics on who they knew would engage with the contestants. And she said, deal or no deal never treated us like bimbos. We got so many opportunities because of that show. That's the kind of opportunity that is what you make it. If you just show up and don't engage, then you'll just get your check and not get much out of it. But if you show up and seize your moments, then there's no limits to what you can do with the opportunity. So she said it was a good experience, a good opportunity in her career, and helped her pay all her bills. But she also said her response was not an attack on Megan, because Lord knows I've been defending this woman in the media for years, and I still will. I just didn't want any misunderstanding about the climate and environment on the deal or no deal set and she says she's especially protective of Howie Mandel who is nothing but kind and respectful to all 26 of us. That Megan story that she told was boring. It didn't need no production. It had music behind it and sound effects like it was just a boring story. I felt like Denzel in training day after you heard Hoyt's story in the cafe. You needed some music to it? I just, it just wasn't a good story. Like, suck it in? Like suck it in. That's like okay. <laughs> Why did you just yell out suck it in? That's what she said. Oh. We need a context. All right. Huh? <laughs> All right, Jadakiss okay, is guys. launching a new coffee brand. It's called Kiss Cafe. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so you can get that at kisscafecoffee.com. You know, I love it. Over 40 years in three generations deep, grounded in tradition, I'm joined by my father and son to officially launch our Phillips Family Coffee Company. And so you can follow them on IG, too. He said, this That's is one dope. of my proudest professional and personal achievements. There is no greater honor than taking what you've learned in this life and inspiring your family to join you and bring that pursuit to the next level. Drop yeah. on the clues bonds for Jada Kiss, damn it. Whoever thought that hip-hop would take it this far? Jada Kiss out here selling coffee right, grounds. And, want, you know, right? Ghostface opened up a coffee shop in Staten Island, too. He did? Yeah, he been did that. And he got his wow. own day at the same time in Staten Island. And that's what we want, right? We want to do things that our kids can can, can continue on Absolutely. and their kids and their kids and their kids. So, Drop and as I told I love to see that. Y'all before cuz coffee is a huge deal. It's the second biggest import in the United States after oil. 
And so it is a great business to get into and to learn about. And it did start in Ethiopia. So shout out to Jada Kiss, shout out to Ghostface, shout out to Coffee Uplifts People, my coffee brand. Um, and to all the coffee lovers out there, it's a universal and personal thing, Jada Kiss said. Everyone enjoys it differently, and we're here to help them do that. Jada Kiss went from grams to grounds. Mm -hmm. Gotta love it. All right, well, that is your rumor report. Cocaine right. to coffee. Who are you giving your dog to? Man, four after the hour, let's talk nasty people. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's, if, if for all you people out there that want to build the wall, this might be a great reason. Oh, okay, y'all, this might be another great reason for y'all to add to y'all... Uh, Y'all y'all repertoire. Y'all y'all reason of excuses to build it. Okay? okay. All right, we'll get to that next. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning.